Hi right, everyone, welcome back to No Motive Anatomy. So today we're gonna go hit up another cars and coffee, but or but should be a good time. A lot of clean cars come out. Those guys are super organized. Um, it's just super cool vibes overall. So uh, it's in Gordina, about a 30 minute drive for me. So nothing too crazy. Most of these guys track their cars, yet they still look cleaner than mine, which I obviously don't go to the track. Should be a good time. Um, hopefully we get some nice shots, uh, taking both the GoPro and the 6400. And yeah, so big shout out to all the people that pre-order and got their sweaters. Um, you know, when we put them out, this is the front and then the back. Uh, it's almost like the definition dictionary type of thing. Uh, big shout out to Chapas and who was it? I think it was Chapas who made a meme out of it. Me miro como jardinero. I hate you. I love you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, big shout out to it. Uh, big shout out to on Instagram, CT2 underscore designs. Um, Clint, he's a he's a guy that made the the, the sweaters possible. So yeah, um, thank you for the love. We still have a little bit of them available in case uh, any of you uh, are interested. Uh, I'll put the link in this bio on the video and then uh yeah we have very very limited ones all right we'll see you guys over there peace out all right so we made it to the official cars and coffee i saw my homie right here yeah. cheese pass hey wait come here yeah. what's the name of your channel it's uh cheese was media cheese was media okay yeah. i'll put the the link in the bio and then the link on to the channel somewhere in one of those corners I, feel like you're not it. Just I can't wait little content you know yeah i like it i like yeah. it this guy's also the guy that made a meme about my sweater being a jardinero. <laughs> <laughs> Mi oficio ser jardinero. <laughs> I hate you. Check out his channel, a lot of EF stuff, right? Yeah. Mostly EF? Mostly EF, I mean, whatever, I just little memes and stuff, nothing crazy. Okay. Yep. Well, we'll see keep at it, way. Thank, Thank you for the love. Appreciate it. And we gotta get you on the CRV. There, for sure. We'll make it happen, okay? Thanks. All right, so, uh, Mikey's like the, He's super popular. I don't really like, you know, I'm just nervous being next to him. He looked at me right now, so that's pretty cool. I mean, that must say something. Hi, Mikey. <laughs> uh, so I'm getting some footage here. Probably gonna see two different videos um, of the roll-in, just because I like the way the cars sound when they come in. And then uh, obviously, man, it's been running for five minutes. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. Catch you guys in a few. All right, everyone, we're gonna begin with the walkthrough. So, uh, I just wanna say what's up to everybody that came by when I was doing the rollers. I just wanna say hi, thank you so much for just stopping by. I definitely feel super special when you guys come by and just say hi and, you know, ask about Jackie and how things are going. Definitely means a lot, man. Uh, it's so cool that there's, you know, a community of people that um, keep up with some of the stuff that I do. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's, it's cool. It's cool to uh, feel the love from everybody from <clears throat> Tire Bully, Ro uh, Roger, Rob, um, just, you know, so many people that I met that, you know, come up and say, hey, I really, really like the, the YouTube channel and what you do. So I appreciate you guys. So yeah, we're starting with this beautiful Integra and then we're starting with dudes I've met. Um, I love what he's done with his car. The fact that he's, you know, this is molded guys, this is not, like added on this is this car has been alive since the early 2000s when they were in san diego so yeah this this car is probably the the one car that you don't want to hit in this entire lot um for for those purposes not that you would want to hit any car but if there's a car that you don't want to hit is this one because it would be extremely difficult for the owner to be able to fix it um which makes it even crazier that this guy actually drives it um but yeah <clears throat> We can catch the interior. I don't know what else he's done since we interview him. Rolling up to the TSXs. I think this is uh, Brian's car. He takes amazing pictures. I'm not trying to get run over. So like I mentioned, the hatch attack. A uh, whole bunch of dudes that uh, drive hatches. That includes Integra's, like this one right here, Manny. Uh, he's getting a new bumper. It's probably in the process of respraying it. I wonder if he washes engine bay for this, because 
he did him for the interview. <laughs> Never gonna let that go. I actually didn't even notice. He's the one who pointed out to me. He's like, hey, um, I I didn't watch my engine bay. Sorry, <laughs> like, that's fine. Honda Fit. I love these Honda Fits. First generation is my favorite. Then this, and then the last one, which is pretty cool. A new SIs. They're not so new anymore. They're a couple years old now. White body TSX. That's pretty cool. I think I saw this one at um, Classic Honda. Love it, man. Looks great. EF. We've seen this one a couple of times. Very, very mint. Very, very clean. Love how clean it is. Couple more cars rolling up. Love the way that one sounds. Good morning, fellas. Good morning, fellas. <clears throat> this EG man is so clean. Really, really like the color combo. Beautiful. Clear tail lights. Everything about it is dope. So, Danny, you look like you're ready to eat. Ready to fresh. I like that. <laughs> this is pretty dope. One of my favorite ones. I see was rolling in. Um, I don't know if I've, I, I think I've seen this one before. Get an interior though on this one. What kind of wheels are these? Uh, Habashi racing wheels. Yeah, this is dope. Yeah, this is dope. I don't know. I, have, I think I've seen it before. 600. Man, this is dope. Love the fender flares on it. The finish on the flares. Man, this is dope great looking car another look at this beautiful eg it's simple simple and slam i dig it very clean oem crx down to the wheels it's perfect so obviously all of us like modifying cars my question to you is do you guys appreciate one of these older cars just completely stock or fully decked out um, obviously they're both good in their own way Rob with his right hand drive they're both on their own on their own way they're good right like this one and I know Rob is not planning on lowering and doing anything to it he wants to keep as is but what if the same car was real case swap and is that Manny cars looking good what if that same car that Rob has, he has plans to case swap it and do all these crazy things. Would you guys appreciate it the same or more or different or what? I know it's up to personal choice, so there's no right or wrong answer. But I just, you know, there's certain cars that you just kind of don't, you don't see stock anymore that you kind of wish they were. Maybe the Type R eventually, like 40 years from now, will be one of those cars that you're like, oh man, like, if only you were able to find one in decent shape, you know? Speaking of something that is gonna go up, it's gonna blow up, it's already blowing up, is this 86. Uh, I love the way um, this guy modified it with the Riga Master. Goes to show you, doesn't really need much. Love the color on this car. Um, but I do see it being the next car that, the next FRS, you know, per se, uh, or 350Z, where everybody's gonna grab them, trash them, not take care of them, and then move on to the next car that comes their way that is in that mid, mid price um, option. Um, but, you know, the, the great looking cars, don't get me wrong. Love the, the yellow on this. I'm not sure if it's wrapped or actually painted. No, it's wrapped. Still, it looks really cool. Very nice. RPF1s, you guys know that works with everything. SoCal EM1 crew. Some of the members. Look at this. Oof. Love the finish on those wheels, the T37s. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just... I don't get tired of just talking to myself, uh, which I probably should. Uh, but then uh, I get to see some people that, you know, ask me about certain things that I that I talk either on the washing talks and here, and then we just have long conversations, and that seems to be the the common theme with me, you know. Very clean, eg. So I was talking to my buddy. Uh, 
and I was letting him know that I'm thinking. What's up, fellas? What's up? Some of the organizers. I was talking to my buddy and I was letting him know that you know it'd be cool to um, finally pull the trigger on your car. I don't know. Do I need it 100%? No, not really. But I think it's getting to that point where like I may just want to get a new car. And um, some of the options, just so you guys kind of hear me out, obviously the 911 is up there. Um, will that be it? I don't know. Prices are coming down on them. Um, they're still pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. However, there's a few cars that are grabbing my attention. And one of them is the third car that's, you know, in blue there. As soon as I saw it roll in, I was like, oh man, I can definitely see myself in one of those because I really, really like that body shape and that specific color. So the M3 F80 is definitely a car that I can definitely see myself. It's a four door, obviously it's fast from the get go. It's a great looking car. And uh, you had some T37s like the, the gentleman did it right here and the car looks amazing. M5s are just a little too big for me. Um, I mean, when you you see them next to each other, they don't. I mean, they're probably not even that big of a difference. It's almost like a Civic and a Core, you know, type of thing. But um, the M3 is definitely one of them. Uh, I'm not sure if they come down in prices. I've been checking, but they, you know they look pretty stagnant. But in this color, I know it's very difficult to find. So yeah, as soon as I saw this guy rolling in, I was like, damn. So as I'm staring at this car, man. I, I, yeah, this is exactly the way I would want it. I mean, black interior, the only difference would be I will get a manual. But other than that, I mean, damn, thing is gorgeous. Just perfect. I dig it. And I get it. We're here for the Hondas, but you guys know I like all types of cars. So love this car. So aggressive. I actually like the new cars. I know some of the BMW dudes that don't like it because they're long grill. I like them. Um, I think they look great. You lower them, put some wheels, and game over. Um, but so that's another option. And then one that actually my, my wife was on board. She's like, we were just yesterday, we were on a walk, and I was like, what's up, brother? <clears throat> Hopefully, I see you on the 12th. Yes, sir. All right, le pues. Thank you for hosting, man. I'm going to need one. Send me a send me a DM way. Okay. What's the total? Uh, I think 40, 45. Okay. <laughs> it's the um, <clears throat> track, Sorry, that was uh, that's the organizer of uh, classic Honda. He's gonna be having a meet in June twelfth. This is Tire Bully. We interview him. Seven hundred horsepower. Uh, TSX thing flies, man. Thing freaking flies. Not even gonna lie, super cool. Um, so we were on a walk, and I said, Hey, you know, like I really I'm thinking about maybe like a Datsun Z and or a Nissan Z. And later on, I know she's like, Let me see the, the car that you're thinking of. He's like, As you call it, the poor man's Porsche. So I, I, I show her the picture of the new Nissan Z, uh, 400Z, I, I should say. She's like, I like it. She's like, maybe you should go for that one. So maybe, you know, now it's a coupe. I wasn't planning on a coupe, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I, I don't end up doing none of that. And I, I pull the trigger on the Impala, but it's, it's good to just dream and to have it in the back of your head. It's nothing too crazy. Man, it's beautiful. The Vato Popular. Wow. Love the color of the TEs. Another popular guy, homie Donnie. Look how much, how much media coverage Donnie gets. Look at that, everybody's a big fan. Everyone's a big fan of this sedan, as they should be. It's just absolutely mint. Ooh, T37 on this one. Todo bien? Ahí va, ahí va. Uh, my buddy shop. No, no. Uh, no the red one? Yeah. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah, it's it's one of the other parkings right there. Yeah. Uh, it's not too much to look at. Bro, really? 
<laughs> I think this is jeans. Is this jeans car? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not sure. All the Vato Famosos. The more Famoso guy in the middle. Damn, you guys get to hang out with him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah? Over 10 million views? Damn. Famous, Mr. Famous. Mr. Famous. That's the only way he came out. Yeah. Damn. So I tell you, fool, go on yours. Now my homie did the piping. Yeah, Alright, I got sidetracked with the famosos. Now we're back to the coverage. It's the homies of court right here. Final these things out. I'm so glad to see it here. I think he got a new suspension maybe. The car looks higher. Did you did you raise your car? I told you to do the opposite. Lower. You gotta go lower. Nah, it looks good, man. Damn, things nice. Bard H22. Very, very nice. Homie Eric. Added a tow hook at the bottom. Very subtle addition. This car is just stupid clean, man. And it sounds so nice because the car is loud. Um, and obviously the car is being stripped. It just... Oh, I like that. It, it makes it uh, just sound raw, you know. It, it's loud. Um, last my train of thought on what I was thinking previous. Uh... I know we we're talking about new cars. So yeah, anyways, the 400Z. Oh, Doblers out here. Uh, the 400Z is definitely one car that I think is going to have a markup. And so that's going to be the discouragement. Um, I think they're going to mark it up 10 to 20 grand. I'm not going to go buy a $50,000 Nissan. Um, so we'll see. Uh, then I saw that the Civic uh, EK K Turbo and I'm like, man, giving me ideas. American Muscle rolling by. Ping's beautiful car. Love the green T37s. So yeah, I mean, that's the kind of love and hate coming to these car meets. Uh, you get ideas and you want to go and spend more and you want, you see somebody do something, you're like, man, I kind of want to do that. And, and so there's a thousand different ways you can go about doing something. So pretty interesting to see all this stuff that uh, a lot of people are you know doing and their approach and i like it i think that it's pretty cool um but obviously if you're in a budget and you're trying to save money that's not gonna help your desires to want to go in and spend and and do something this is cool so that's a thousand that those that's a thousand <coughs> Cory's beautiful cars, man. Sedan. I'm not sure if this is Cory's or he sold it already. I know he was uh, selling that. It might not even be the same car. That guy changes cars like I changed socks, so we don't know. But I love these meat. The vibes are pretty mellow. Um, older people, really old people like Gene. What's up, Gene? I said older people and then Jim was dressed right there. Didn't mean it, no pun intended. Um, yeah. Always, always coming out and supporting this EF hatch and this Integra right here. We should be linking up with both of them to do interviews. Um, as of lately, I've been super busy with just different random things that have come up that i need to sit down and actually work out the schedule this looks really cool um i was supposed to be interviewing somebody today but um the person said he was gonna find a an address and then i hit him up like hey were you we able to find an address and then he never got back to me so uh, it worked out i was able to uh come here but um yeah there's there's a couple interviews that i need to edit that i haven't come across uh, around to um just because I was trying to figure out the whole Jackie situation. I mean, that was only two weeks ago and the car's already almost fixed, thanks to Francisco. Um, but just getting that situated and then 
um, you know, some other stuff that is going in the background that I need to figure out. And on top of that, like I mentioned, on the Washington talk, we, we got a couple of trips coming up um, personally. So yeah, I expect some of these videos to kind of slow down, um, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, it's just, it's all good stuff, you know? I, I don't know how to explain it. It's all good stuff. This is a homie of Chispas, um, daughter's car. Uh, the, the gentleman we started the video with, definitely check out his his channel. He has, oh, I was about to say he has a clean CRV. Well, it's right here. Uh, he has a very, very, a very nice clean CRV. Plus, um, a beautiful EF. And yeah, definitely the EF is definitely the, the, the money maker. But this one's so cool, man. This is just a daily driver. So let me swing by here. All these vatos famosos. Puro vato famoso aquí, ¿da? ¿Cómo estás? Puro vato famoso aquí. Angel finally brought out his TSX. I hadn't seen him in a bit. Then the eighth gen. Very clean. Very, very clean. I think. I mean, I'm gonna be gone for about 14 days, so yeah. Unless I get situated and I do, I guess you can say I edit everything beforehand and, and schedule it. Maybe there'll be like one or two weeks that, you know, we do one or, or two videos less, which I mean, uh, I would be lying to say that I don't care if I don't provide a video for you guys. Um, it's not so much of the fear that oh you guys are gonna you know forget about the channel because that's not it this is uh, a gentleman that i met today i forgot your name i'm sorry i was trying to negotiate with his uh i think five six year old son if he wants to sell his eg for my accord and his son kept saying no so i don't know man his son knows what he got that is beautiful man holy macaroni dope absolutely love it pleasure meeting you brother thank you so much for the love and the support um it's so nice you know it's so cool to see you come out with your with your son and you know have a good time creating memories you know it's only that's what matters the most at the end damn this thing is mint love it reminds me of uh, jd inspire from mainland empire and um what's up fellas how are you guys doing good. good morning good morning i'm doing well man thank you so, like I mentioned, it's not so much that I'm afraid of, oh, you know, if I, if I go two weeks without uploading, like, the end of the channel. No, it's just, I don't know. I, I like to keep it consistent. That's just my mentality. Um, I, I, I was planning on hitting up, this is Tony, beautiful uh, red TSX. Uh, he has a red E30, E46 M3. Seems to like their color red. Um, and he's back from Texas, so that's pretty cool. Daniel refreshed his entire EF. Looks pretty mint. Love what he's done with it. Just like the EF section right here. And um, yeah, like I was mentioning, pretty much, um, I'm not, I don't like to be inconsistent. I mean, there's been periods of times the last four years that I've gone weeks without uploading. Um, but usually it's because there's something going on in my personal life. Um, other than that, I think it's so easy for me to just continue uploading just because this is not a, it's not a job. It's just it's a hobby. But you also gotta enjoy life here and there, you know? So, call me Matt. Beautiful day. I didn't see, I didn't expect him to be here. But this thing's mint. Super rad straight killing him man i'm glad he he got he had some issues with it i'm glad he got it situated it can be very unmotivating when you can seem to find whatever is wrong with the car very nice all righty so welcome back i wanted to make sure that i had enough battery for this side of the lot so nobody feels uh I notice um, all over the place, and the source. Um, how's it going, fellas? I don't know. 
the source team i think they're from inland empire and man they they roll man every single time they're always rolling from far away um super cool to see them you know come out and show love for all different events old school honda v-tech tuning uh classic honda and then now the uh we get around hatch attack i mean there's just so many different places where they go and uh, showing love this one came out came in and looks so aggressive super super nice um i'm trying to get every single car today because there's not gonna say there's not that many but uh definitely more tangible than some other times some other times this parking lot is completely full i like this i like the fact that it's all dirty that tells me that they drive it and i've shown up to a lot of car meets when my car's super dirty who cares you showed up i'm glad you're out here so i got the towing ready for all you civic dudes they already know one of you guys is gonna need it white body genesis pretty cool they get something different at kdm market hey, i recognize this car i think it's america so i hadn't seen her i know she was out here looks very nice I actually like both stances. Um, the one that she has now and the one that she had before, um, you know, just being really low. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm open to different looks. So I'm not either one or the other. I think it's just whatever suits your needs a little bit better. Sometimes um, it gets tiring, man. Just driving a slam ass, you know, Honda is just like, uh, you gotta plan your, your uh, route everywhere you go and Man, this one's sick. Love the front camera on it. Really, really like this one. I've seen it before and I think I, I've said the same thing. I really, really like how it looks. Let me see this one. So, I feel that's how you're doing? Man, you move fast, boy. I thought this like Damn. The homies from Risk. Hadn't seen him. Where's Nino? Is Nino hungover? Very nice, homie legend, Sergio, with the new Rota wheels, love it. <laughs> God forbid he, or he uses Rotas, huh? Has to be authentic stuff for them. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's good. It's just, you know, it's the standard they have. It's pretty dope. This is, we've seen this one a couple times. I think it's H2B, yep. Super rad. And we saw this one rolling in, sounded very aggressive, very cool. Couple more beautiful cars. One of them is Chris. Beautiful. Chris is beautiful NSX. Nice. Love it. Love the race brakes on this. Very nice look. Love the wheels. Perfect offset. I dig it. What's up, fellas? What's up? Hey, hey. I haven't seen you Thank you for wearing the sweater, dude. It looks so cool. Careful, careful, careful. Homie Michael right here super rad to see him out here just chilling got a wagon who doesn't want a wagon and it's so funny because then i just go back you know i told you guys i want a new car but then at the same time i want like an old school wagon be you know that'd be dope so i don't know i mean i'm sure i'm sure i'm not the only one that has all these crazy thoughts of wanting 300 300 different cars and doing them all different and whatnot man this is beautiful very clean setup on this eg I like it. How's it going? How's it going, man? Beautiful CRX. EM1 leaving. <laughs> it's nice. Another Honda Fit. Love it. Love the color on them. So we're gonna go back towards that line and then that's gonna be the whole entire coverage the walkthrough today 
from We Get Around um, Cars and Coffee. Uh, big shout out to the guys. Thank you guys so much for, you know, um, hosting and making this possible. Great location. Uh, it's not too far away from my house, so I definitely uh, look forward to the drive. And the um, cops don't seem to mind, obviously, if you keep it respectful and we don't do anything stupid. Um, hopefully we can continue to come out here and i know for a fact that uh, uh i think we're trying to support lee's coffee um they appreciate it because they get quite a bit of sales you know as we come in man love this ef hatch with the clear the mr5s beefy tire setup this thing's gnarly love it <laughs> wow. Boosted, turbo. Love it. Very, very nice. But yeah, man, this thing's beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, guys. That's gonna be my whole entire coverage. Big shout out to Wicked Around. Thank you guys for the love. Like I said, thank you so much for anybody that ordered a sweater. Um, it means so much. Um, and they're gonna crash here, so I just let me move out of the way. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I'll put the link in the bio for both Cheese Boss channel and um, if any of you guys wanna buy something from the store. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for the love, man. I really appreciate it. Um, such a good time. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more pictures and then it's nine already. So probably dip like in 30 minutes, but thank you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.